Hello there Pisces, thank you so much for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the week of January 18th through the 24th. Before we get started, I do want to let you know I have some spaces left in a couple of mentoring sessions coming up. So if you're interested in being a part of a group mentoring session to help expand or explore your own intuitive or psychic abilities, be sure you drop me a line so we can get you plugged into one of those. Now, let's go on to the reading, Pisces. On Monday, Queen of Coins. This feels very much to me like it's you, and it's odd because I think maybe you got the same card the last week, or maybe that was somebody else this week. I don't know. It's been a long day. <laughs> but anyway, Queen of Coins coming up is talking about um, feeling very nurturing, feeling very encouraging. Oh, it was somebody else this week. Um, feeling... Um, like you have plenty of resources and you're actually trying to help somebody else out by using those resources to help them in a very tangible way. Um, I get a big sensation about people going to school and you trying to help in that. So that may be buying them some of their supplies, maybe paying their tuition, uh, something like that. Um, but of course, that's not going to apply to everybody. That's a pretty specific example, but there's uh, some of you actually will be doing that particular thing. Others of you are going to be finding other ways to help people. You were just really nurturing and encouraging is the bottom line that I'm feeling on Monday. And I am feeling that when there's something tangible that you can get for this other person that would encourage them or help them or nurture them, that you are more than willing to go ahead and do that on Monday. Now, on Tuesday, Pisces, you have the Strength card showing up in reverse. Strength in reverse is telling me that you're having a situation on Tuesday where you're beating up on yourself. You're putting all the blame on you for something that happened. Um, and typically when we do this, uh, <laughs> uh, whatever it was that happened probably wasn't, at least 80% was not our fault. So. You want to kind of step back a little bit, take a look at that situation from a different perspective and ask yourself, really, how much control did I have over the situation? How much influence did I actually have? And then really be realistic about what you could have done or what you couldn't have done and be realistic about why was it that I chose to do the things that I chose to do? Did I have good intentions? Because you know what? Most of us choose what we choose with good intentions. And so... Um, beating up on ourselves for something that we, number one, didn't have that much control over, and number two, we had good intentions in the parts that we had control, really is not fair to ourselves. So try not to beat yourself up too much on this. Try to get a different perspective, you know, look at it from a different angle, not the self-blame, I'm going to carry all of this angle, but the more objective, let's look at the reality of the situation type of angle, okay? Now, let's see. Wednesday, Pisces, what you have coming up is the star card in reverse. This is just telling me that you're having some confusion on Wednesday. You're feeling maybe even a little out of touch with reality. I've actually had the star card come up for me when I, on a day that I ended up having to take cold medicine just to be able to function. <laughs> and if you've taken cold medicine, you know how that feels. It feels like reality is just right next to you, but you just can't quite exactly touch it. That's kind of what the star card talks about. It talks about that you can see the reality, you're aware of the reality, but you can't quite just totally get there. It's a really disconnected feeling and it brings on usually some confusion about any kind of decisions that you're trying to make, especially anything that has to do um, with relationship to other people, whether uh, whatever type of relationship it is. Okay, so that's Wednesday. Thursday, you Pisces have the Three of Clubs showing up in reverse. That's just telling me there's some adjustments or some modifications being made either to some travel as you're actually traveling or to some travel plans. So as you're planning your travel, you may be making changes, adjusting, tweaking on that. And then the other thing that this can be is this can be tweaking and adjusting some dreams that you have. So there may be some things that you want to manifest into your life um, and you're starting to realize, wow, if I had that, <laughs> it would be really good except for this one little part. 
And so you kind of adjust to put that one little part, replace that with something better that'll work better for you. So some kind of tweaking or adjusting, whether it has to do with travel plans or whether it has to do with dreams or plans that you have for the future. Um, that's what I see going on on Thursday. Now Friday, Pisces, we have the Falling Tower showing up for you. This is just telling me there's some kind of big shakeup. And usually this kind of big shakeup has to do either with security or with how you are viewing things that are going on in your life. Um, and I'm feeling like this is going to come out a couple of different ways for different ones of you. And for some of you, the shakeup with the thing of security is going to really change how you look at things in your life. So it's going to be kind of a trigger. One is triggering the other one. Uh, but definitely shakeup going on on Friday. Um, the good news with the tower card and the shakeup though is that generally what's happening with a situation like this is that we are in an old situation that has become stagnant. We're no longer moving forward. We feel safe in that situation and so we haven't really been looking around for what are some alternatives or some other opportunities for us. This is Spirit's way of saying, you know what, we're not letting you stagnate. <laughs> <laughs> if you won't get out and look for other opportunities, we'll help you. Push, you push right out of the tower. There you go. And you're looking up at spirit going, thank you, as you fall to the ground. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it is actually a thank you situation, but it doesn't feel like it after you're being pushed. So anyway, um, it does end up turning out for the better because what happens in the long run is that you do find other opportunities that are better than what you had before, but um, it can take a little bit to get there. First, you kind of have to catch your breath back and get back up on your feet to start with, and then you can start looking around for those other opportunities. Okay, so let's move on here. Next card, Saturday, excuse me. Saturday is the seven of clubs and this is just telling me that on Saturday you are taking some kind of stand for yourself. Maybe somebody's been sort of walking all over you and they didn't really realize that it's a big deal because you know you haven't said that much and Pisces you're kind of meek and malleable and you sort of go with the flow all the time. You avoid confrontation at all costs. Um, and so it's really easy for people to be around you and be expecting you to do and be certain ways and do certain things and they don't even realize that they're putting you in a position that you're not comfortable with because you don't say anything. You just go with the flow. You don't want a confrontation. Well, what happens is eventually you're doing so much that you really wish you weren't doing or being somebody that you really aren't to the point that finally you don't have any choice but to stand up for yourself and say, listen, listen, Buster, I really don't like chocolate chips. I hate spinach. <laughs> I don't like doing your laundry. I don't know how your socks get so grungy to start with. Why can't you do your own laundry? No, I don't know. I'm just making stuff up off the top of my head. But um, there comes a point where you have to take a stand for yourself and you have to say, okay, I am fine with this, 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 and this. Anything beyond this line is not going to be me. Somebody else is going to be responsible for that. And sometimes, you know, you really get into that point where you have to say that just for your own self-preservation, if nothing else. And so that's what I see going on Saturday. I see some self-preservative action. I see you taking a stand for yourself, even though you would rather do anything than have a conflict and just letting people know, look, this is as far as I'm going. All right, so that's Saturday for you. And then Sunday, Wow, you really got some action or reaction quickly. You've got the Two of Swords coming up, and I'm feeling like those of you who did take a stand for yourself on Saturday, whew, I'm feeling like not all of you, but some of you are dealing with a situation now where the person that you or the persons that you took that stand with, they're like, yeah, right, you'll still do what I ask you to do. You still love me. And they're kind of disregarding any boundaries that you set and they're acting like they didn't even hear you say the stuff that you said the day before. So you have to decide and I feel like you are making that decision on Sunday. Okay, what am I going to do with this situation? Because you're smart enough to know that you can't keep saying the same things over and over and over again. Nobody's going to respect that. So now you've talked the talk. Now it's time to walk the walk. So how are you going to handle this if they disrespect you? 
And that's the question that you're dealing with on Sunday. How are you handling uh, people disrespecting the boundaries that you've set up or disrespecting whatever it was that you said when you took a stand for yourself? And I feel like you come to that decision actually in a very quick way. I feel like you come to it in a very fair way. And I feel like you enforce your word. <laughs> I think that you have, whatever's going on, you have gotten totally fed up. And you're just done with it. You're not playing anymore. Mm -mm. Nope, this is what I said. This is what I meant. So anyway, that's what I see coming in for you, Pisces. Looks like it's going to be a little bit of a challenging week. But um, could be... Uh, very interesting too. <laughs> very interesting to see how much better life gets after you take that stand for yourself. So that's awesome. Anyway, I do appreciate all of you hanging out, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. And then I also want to say too, I have just been enjoying the mentoring sessions so much since we started doing those guys. Every single one of you that I have met at a mentoring session Wow, it was just so much fun. Um, every person has been fascinating, and there have been people who um, really are just wondering if they're psychic, people who got into the psychic thing and then backed out of it, and now they're trying to get back in and they feel stuck, all the way up to people who have been reading for like 30 years and now they're going online, or they're getting ready to go pro, and just everybody in between. And it has just been so fascinating and so wonderful to meet all of you. You all are precious, wonderful souls. And the same with the people that I'm reading. Every time somebody new comes in to me to be read, I have to sit back after the reading is over and go, wow, here is another absolutely fabulous person. How do I get all of these wonderful, wonderful clients? How am I so lucky? And so I just want to say really to all of you from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for letting me be a part of your lives. And thank you so much for being a part of mine. You all have impacted me as well. Everyone have a fantastic week. I'll see you back here the next time. Peace out.